Dawn of the Dead, 1978, cult classic by George Romero, versus the 2004 remake of Dawn of the Dead. These are five things that I've always wanted to talk about, and that's coming up right now. What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, and you guys are watching Pete Talks Movies. So, Dawn of the Dead, 1978. When that movie came out, I wish I was alive for it. But I'll tell you, as a young kid who was into horror movies, my uncle put me on to this probably in like 1998 or 1999, and I was hooked. I was just, it terrified me as a kid, and it became one of my favorite horror films and zombie films of all time. And with that being said, there were five things that I wanted to mention. Uh, when the remake came out, I was excited, I was pumped, and I'm not gonna lie, I was kinda let down. And these are some of those things. In no particular order, just one thing I wanted to mention, the walking zombies in the 1978 version versus the running zombies in the 2004 version. Now, things like this have always been an issue for me. I've always felt that the running zombies were just, I don't want to say unrealistic because it's zombies, you know, it's fictional. I've never really had a huge appeal with the running zombies. I feel like it was just way too unfair of an advantage for the zombies because it's just like they can run like a cheetah and jump on things doing par parkour and whatnot and i just feel like the creepier zombies were the slow moving ones because they can creep up on you when you least expect it you know they could be creeping up behind you and then all of a sudden it's too late with the running zombies they come in these giant hordes and like i said they're jumping over things and it just i don't know for me it never was too appealing although in 28 days later i feel like they did a pretty good job with it definitely one of my favorite zombie films but i always wish they were the walking zombies so let me know what you guys think about that in the comments number two I just felt that the 1978 version was just overall creepier. That that feeling of film shot in the 70s and early 80s just had different soundtracks with the synthesizers and just the soundtrack itself. If you just go back and listen to it, it's super creepy. Now, not to say that the 2005 or 2004 version isn't really creepy but again i just feel like it was too hollywood you know because of the time it came out and the director and the actors and whatnot that was just my personal opinion all of these are just personal of a personal opinion so let me know what you guys think number three the main female protagonist in the 2004 version anna she was just all right i feel like you know it, it was like that feeling of oh i, I i'm a try hard and because i'm the strong female protagonist and everything like that i just feel like they were pushing for that a little bit too much but she did an okay job personally i feel like i liked francine's uh from 1978 steven's wife i just liked francine's like witty like attitude she was just out there saying like i'm just gonna be a badass and i'm gonna you know i'm gonna i'm just gonna mess these zombies up and she did and her and peter spoiler alert were those only survivors so that tells you something number four more memorable zombies in the 1978 version for instance everybody remembers the guru zombie with the tambourine who creeps up the stairs to find francine remember that part and just kind of like shoving his way through the door and everything i just feel like it was so much creepier you know and also the pie in the face zombies and one of the lead pie in the face zombies was roy frumkus who uh actually is a professor at the school of visual arts uh, a school that i attended so that was kind of cool that he worked at the same school that i attended and number five always worth mentioning tom savini i feel had a more memorable memorable role in the 1978 version compared to the 2004 version as the lead biker he was badass and he did all the makeup or he was the lead makeup artist uh, for that film and I feel like in the 2004 version he didn't really have that much of a prominent role uh, I feel like he could have been used better but when Land of the Dead came out a movie I can talk about another time uh, he, he had a little bit of an appearance in there too as that biker character which was cool to see him come back but I feel like Tom Savini could have been used uh, so much more but again these are just my opinions you can agree you can disagree uh, let me know in the comments section the things you agreed with the things you disagreed with just be respectful is all I am ask uh, if you haven't yet hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications and if you made it to the end of the video leave a comment saying end 302 and give it a like if you wouldn't mind in the comments down below also tell me some movies and horror movies or things that you would like me to talk about uh in future videos so until next time keep watching those movies and i'll keep talking about them this is pete from uh, pete talks movies and we'll see you on the next one peace